This is the solution to written homework 19. So for offer one, so offer one, if we say that uh, if we say that x is the number of books, and we say that y is uh, the income as a result of that number of books, then what offer one is saying, it's saying that y is, so 400 a month, so you always get 400, and then plus 5 multiplied by the number of books. So this is the, <clears throat> the fixed income, no matter what, she gets 400, and <clears throat> this is the proportional income. So that's offer one. Offer two. Again, letting x denote the number of books and y income. Uh, the equation is y is equal to so 700 a month so that's a, a bigger fixed income and then plus 3x so it's a, a bigger fixed income but a smaller proportional income okay so now suppose a woman sells an average of the, the woman in question uh, sells an average of 175 books per month so which one is better so, in the first place, this is, of course, assuming that more money is better. Uh, two T's. So, more money is better. So, in the case of offer one, uh, since we're using X to denote the number of books in both offers, the question is is asking if x is 175 which y is higher so in the case of offer 1 y is 400 plus 5 times 175, which when plugged into a calculator is 1275, uh, whereas offer 2, offer 2, Would be y is 700 plus 3 times 175 when plugged into a calculator. That is 1225. It's almost the same. However, which y is higher? This one is higher. So offer 1. <coughs> Uh, offer one uh, pays more money. And that's the answer.